Okay, here comes that flip. Get ready for it. Get ready for it. Ah, oh, damn it. It caught me on the other side. All right, here comes the second one. Oh, same side. Are you kidding me? That happened so fast. Okay, one last time for sure. Just got to punish with the down heavy. Oh my god. This man just has answers for everything. You know what? I think I'm going to play Trunks. Oh. Oh. How's it going, everybody? Dato Doi here with another installment of our Should You Play series, this time focused around everybody's favorite time traveling Super Saiyan, Trunks. Now, as always, the goal of this video is to take a critical look of the character of Trunks in Dragon Ball Fighters, talk about some of his strengths and weaknesses in the game, and overall at the end, come to a decision on whether or not he's really worth your time. Now, let's kick things off by talking about some of Trunks' cons. Now, if this series wasn't repetitive enough, this first con I want to mention is not having a low hitting 2L. As with a lot of other characters, characters I've covered in this series, Trunks seems to lack the basic function of knowing how to attack a person's ankles. Because of this, Trunks ends up not being as scary to block against as some of the other characters in the game, like Cell and Adult Gohan. I do find it kind of weird that Gotenks has a low hitting 2L, but maybe that's just something Gotenks bring to the table. Now while he might not have a low hitting 2L, he does have his flips, which may help you open up your opponent on defense. That is of course only if your opponent is extremely anxious on defense and freezes up every time the enemy character's feet leaves the ground aka me, but otherwise these flips are just a foolproof way of getting yourself hurled into the air, starting the opponent's combo off for them. Now don't get me wrong, they do have their uses which we'll cover a bit later in the video, but as for trying to open up your opponents with them, I'd say save it in your bag of tricks until the very end of the match when it's you versus one other character, and then maybe bust it out and see if your opponent can handle the stress. The next big con for Trunks comes in the form of his level 3, which is a command grab. Now normally a level 3 command grab wouldn't be too bad, but in a game like Dragon Ball Fighters where you need that level 3 to get a hard knockdown and make your opponent eat something, usually you want to be able to do it after any sort of scenario. But in Trunks' case, more often than not, when you knock somebody down in the middle of the stage with a sliding knockdown, you're just not going to be in range to hit them with your level 3. Some Trunks players even have to go as far as just whiffing a vanish to get that level 3 in the clutch on their opponent. Obviously, spending 4 bars instead of 3 isn't ideal, but you have to do what you have to do when you're playing Trunks. Moving on to Trunks' strengths, I really want to take a minute to talk about his beam game. Now, beams are something that are extremely important to the gameplay of Dragon Ball Fighters, and it's very rare to get a beam on your normal key blast button, but Trunks is one of the characters lucky enough to have that. And because of this, Trunks is very easily able to keep out super dashing with just the click of a single but- oh wait, never mind, moving on. Other strengths for Trunks just involves the range on some of his normals. Because of the sword on his back, he does get some pretty long hitboxes, including his down heavy and jumping heavy. Now unfortunately his down heavy isn't a Goku Black level, but it's definitely up there, probably like 2nd or 3rd or 4th or 5th or 6th or 7th or 8th. Point is, Trunks has some decently long reaching moves. This makes confirming off of hits with him pretty easy. Another thing Trunks does very well is his combo game in the corner. Because of that flip mechanic we mentioned earlier, he is able to get some pretty flashy and crazy stuff in the corner, using that flip to act as almost a second jump in the air. I don't really have too much more to add to this, it's something that Trunks can do in the corner that only he as a character can do, so if this kind of stuff riles you up, then uh, yeah, I guess you have to go to Trunks for that. And the last strength that I want to talk about for Trunks is something that a lot of players often overlook, and that's the fact that Trunks in Sparking is definitely going to open you up. I don't care how good you are on defense, if this Trunks player knows what he's doing and he's in Sparking and you block a hit from him, you are definitely eating some crazy mix-ups. And this is because he can actually jump cancel the third hit of his auto combo, which is supposed to put him behind you, and even if he does go through with it, he can cancel with a vanish or go directly and change the future. It's, it's just crazy. So he can look like he's going behind you, jump cancel it, go into a beam, cross you up, maybe vanish. It depends on what he's feeling on that kind of day. But yeah, regardless, you're getting opened up. And I... I I can't guard against this stuff. Okay, but that's pretty much all of Trunks' strengths and weaknesses as a character laid out, or at least the ones I wanted to talk about anyway. Now we can go ahead and talk about where he goes on a team. His assist change to the future isn't all too bad and can be used to extend some combos, and there are just so many other characters than him better at points, so really I like to put Trunks in a mid position when I do use him. Not really out of the fact that he's really good there, just because he's not as good anywhere else. I like to run him mid instead of anchor because of that level 3 issue we talked about, as having access to a hard knockdown on your last character is pretty important in my opinion. If you want to take Trunks out for a spin in the online world, then here's some teams I recommend using. You can use Team My Dad and Me, Team Number 1 Gohan Fan, and of course Team You're so lame, sneaking around like the boogie. 
Monkey Man. And now we've come to the end of the video where we found out that Trunks is above average in this game. Really compared to a lot of other characters, Trunks really does have a lot of tools that benefit him, but compared to some of the top tier, Trunks just doesn't have enough. I would argue that Trunks is one of those weird characters where he's kind of just so in the middle that a lot of people kind of forget about him, but a good Trunks can definitely make you question your defense skills, and if you're like me and crack at the first sign of trouble, then he can definitely open you up in a second. Let me know down in the comments below what you think about Trunks and Dragon Ball Fighters. and while you're down there, if you like these videos and like this channel and want to support it, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe, and as a bonus, let me know which character you want to see me cover next in a video like this. As always, thank you so much for watching the video, I'm Dr. Doya, and I'll see you in the next one.